Hey guys, it's CyberNight610, and I thought I'd finally do the first episode of the Deck Doctor series. Um, let's see, I don't really like that name of that either, so if anyone has any ideas on how to, come, you know, or has a better name for the series, uh, please tell me in the comments, because, uh, I don't know, that just name just doesn't sound as good, and it feels like it's been used over and over and over in uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube stuff. Anyway, though, uh, the reason I hadn't gotten around to this is because I've been really busy with, like, work, and it seems like I always have a pack opening to do or something. So, yeah, um, I'm sorry for being a little bit late on this. I actually planned to have this video out, like, three weeks ago. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess better late than ever. Alright, uh, for people that don't know about this series, this is basically, uh, how you get on this series is that I'm going to get, uh, viewers. And, uh, you know, all my viewers, hopefully they will be on my forums. And uh, you post a deck that you're working on, or you know, or one that you'd like to make, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just a advanced uh, deck list, and uh, you post it in the Yu-Gi-Oh advanced deck list discussion part of my forums on my website, which you can check that out. There will be a link, of course, in the description. You can just sign up, leave a deck list there. I plan to help everyone out anyway with their deck lists. I mean, whether I make a video or not. But on certain ones, I figured that I would uh, make a video and then. In that video, we talk about the changes I would make to the deck. We talk about the deck itself. And also, you guys, the viewers, get to have your input and say, well, you know, would you agree with some of the stuff I would change? Or how would you change this deck to help this guy out as well? And basically, this, I'm hoping, will help out the person, you know, that we go over the deck list of. And also, that person gets a shout out. So, I'm hoping that this will be kind of a fun thing. Another way to kind of get you guys involved. And, uh, yeah. Another reason to give out shoutouts. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's go. Uh, this first one is from Yakumo Fujikawa. He's uh, He helps me with the podcast and stuff and the dual videos. You guys will remember him. I, of course, I'll have a link in the description, so be sure to subscribe to him. He's an awesome guy. And anyway, he had a deck list of a Red Eyes deck, which um, I thought would be a good one for the first episode because it's not something you hear about all the time. It's not another Six Samurai or something, you know, Grave Keepers. It's just something new. So yeah, that's the reason I chose this. Anyway, I will have uh, the deck list and the changes I will make to the description too in case you don't hear me or you can't read it on the screen. Alright, as you can see, the monsters he has is two red eyes, black chick, three wyvern, uh, two red eyes, two red eyes, darkness metal dragon, two vice dragon, two delta flyer, two exploder dragon, three quick draw synchron, an effect failer, a spirit reaper, zero gardener, and a dark arm dragon. His spells are a Mystical Space Typhoon, Gold Sarcophagus, I'm sorry, two Mystical Space Typhoon, two Gold Sarcophagus, see I'm already getting ahead of myself, two Upstart, Upstart Goblin, and I can't talk, uh, Future Fusion, Dragon's Mirror, Book of Moon, Monster Reborn, Giant Trunade, Pot of Avarice, and Dark Hole. And for the traps, they are two Bottomless Trap Hole, one Solemn Judgment, one Mirror Force, and one Starlight Road. And uh, the extra deck really isn't too important on this because uh, he's told me before that he doesn't have, you know, some of the better synchros that are out. So since I know that about him, I'm probably just kind of going to ignore the extra deck on there because he really can't uh, help it on that for now. So yeah, um, anyway though, my changes that I would make to this deck. I would take up the quick draw synchrons, all three of them, because whenever I dueled against him, he never used them. And I really don't see how they fit into this deck. So that's the reason I would take them out. I would add in an Effect Veiler, because he told me before, too, that he is having a hard time drawing Effect Veiler. So, um, you know, it would help it out. And, of course, Effect Veiler is really good in this format. I've seen a lot of decks, just about every deck, run two of these, or at least one. He already had one, but that's why I'm thinking that maybe a second one could really help him out. Uh, I would take out a Zero Guard now, just because, you know, it's another list. I just don't really see the point in it right now, and... You know, it's an alright idea, but I don't think it's really going to help him. You know, I see what he was trying to do with it, but it's just, you know, I just don't think it's going to come in handy. I would add in three Dodger Dragons. This goes with the theme of it being dragons. Dodger Dragon is an excellent dragon monster in the next set, or this set, I guess. And uh, it's just a really good one to get. Like I said, uh, hopefully they will get cheaper. You know, that way it won't be a pain for him to get those. That's why I put that in there. Uh, also, another thing that I've noticed is that he didn't have many counter traps. You know, he needed something because, of course, you know, like me, he doesn't have the Soul of Mornings. So that's why I suggest that he use the Seven Tools of the Bandit. Because, for me, that's an awesome 
a counter trap. It's a good replacement for the solo mornings, especially if you don't have the money for them or you just don't have the luck in finding any of them. You know, I have a little bit of both of that going for me. So the seven tools are just a good replacement. And also, I went ahead and talked about this on the extra deck, but he does not need the Junk Gardeners or the uh, Chevre de Fleur. Because uh, since they both need a quick draw to bring, to bring out anyway, that's the reason I was like, uh, you don't even need them anyway. So just, you know, if you can get a couple of generic synchros at least or something, that will uh, fit in the place of those. But yeah, I figure uh, with these changes, this deck will be, should be way more consistent. And it looks like a lot of fun to use. I'm tempted to actually make uh, some kind of red eyes deck, or I was even thinking of making a blue eyes deck just so I could duel against this, you know, for fun and make a video of that, you know, kind of be a Kaibo versus Joey kind of thing. I don't know. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I don't know. Like I, I had a few little mess ups here and there. And uh, like I said, tell me how to improve it if you have a better name. And be sure to check out uh, Yakumo Fujitawa's channel awesome guy. Uh, he's looking for Dragoonities. I'm hoping you guys can really help him out. Uh, he's having a hard time getting, especially, you know, I think he's missing a Phalanx and three Vitrianas, which is the, you know, the orange dragon. That's a Synchro. And those are the only ones I can really think of off the top of my head. Also, he wants a Tur Guide of the Underworld. is one I can remember, too. So, yeah, if you can help him out. And also, if you have any of these cards that I suggest to him to use in this deck, uh, be sure to send him an offer on those. I know he's Always want more trade offers and stuff. So yeah, be sure to contact him, subscribe to him. He's an awesome guy, like I said. And uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Like I said, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And uh, please subscribe, especially if you love pack openings, because we still got a lot of pack openings and deck profile videos. This week, I promise to have those deck profile videos out. All right, bye, guys. Hey guys, it's Cybernite610. If you liked the video you just saw, hopefully you'll like my other videos, so be sure to check them out and subscribe.